crossbow map now i'm going to show you how to get like this golden ring and the iron crossbow you can get these pretty early on like the ring literally you can get in one minute of playing all you have to do is go north out of pistovia and then you want to head in this direction directly in front of you is these little huts sometimes bandits will spawn sometimes they don't in this instance the bandits didn't spawn here so i was right able to walk in here and collect this diamond ring now some of you might have bypassed this or missed it completely because it's down these steps and it looks like they end here but in this sort of ivy overgrown doorway is where you can find the golden ring and this bronze shovel there's also a nice pickaxe here and loads of other loot the top blitz has gone a bit heavy with the loot on this one um gameplay seems to be a bit harder than single player but it is a lot better i think it because you got multiple player on this and there is tons of loot like this is where the golden ring is by the way and if you want to sell it i think it's like 700 odd coins um it depends on what your barter skill is so if you want to sell things for more upgrade your barter skill but the price says 750 you'll probably get slightly less early on for it but there is other coin bags and I, I do like the loot. They have scattered them about and hidden them quite well in some places like you don't really look up. Hiding them high up would be a good place to hide some loot. But also there is some coin bags on windows and stuff that you might miss. So let me know in the comments if I did miss anything. I know on this first playthrough on this building I did miss like the axe around the other side and stuff. So I think they have done a good job hiding some of the loot. And there is tons of places to loot. I was going to make a lot more lootable locations, but this video would just be too long. So I've left some of the best ones in here. If you have another location, let me know in the comments. But I did search about 90% of the map. But on making this video, literally, it would have took too long. So I had to cut so much out of it. So if you want to find something, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and find it for you. But already, like a minute or two minutes of playing, you get all that loot in this location right here. We're going to move on to the Iron Crossbow soon, but first I'm going to show you some other little locations. Just north of Pistovia again, north, just north slightly where we was on our last location is this swamp area. Now you will notice there's an NPC in here, I'll show you him in a sec, but the house is around and the little like ornaments around does have some good loot in. And you can find lots of poison arrows to help hunting and stuff. There is a hidden away little chest here, so you can get a nice knife and that out of that. This is the deepest bit of water by the way I found in game. Thought I was going to drown when I walked through that. So um, there's more like money bags and stuff scattered around here. The bags are also very good early game because they probably cost like, I can't remember how many coins, but they're quite expensive. But I kept hold of mine because it lasts forever, these little bags. They're better than the simple bags. And like you see, there's loads of poison arrows scattered around on the body. And just, I noticed there's a few trees with poison arrows on too, if you want to look for them, but I'm not going to show you those, because they're just scattered around on some of the trees. I haven't even done the quest, so I think it's this crazy NPC here shooting everyone, I don't really know. He looks a bit dodgy anyway. I'll show you him in a minute, but as we come across here, there's some more loot in here, like the copper axe, money bag again. It's free money, not a lot, but you might as well grab it if you're in here. Get yourself a nice drink of pond water on the way out. And there's a recurve bow with 1% on. It's like to tease you, but at least you get to practice what a better bow is going to be like, I suppose. And then there is the NPC. I wouldn't rob anything from him because you might lose dynasty reputation. But there is a goat here that I skinned on my first playthrough and it didn't have any negative issues so you can skin that if you want some free fur and meat now we're going to move on north again to this location now there will be bandits here the 
two times that I've come here there was bandits but they don't always spawn here but you might get lucky because they have a good bit of loot on them these bandits in fact all of the bandits have the same pretty much loot on them so these locations I'm showing you some of them will spawn bandits some of them won't it just depends what season you're in pretty much they do spawn quite randomly but it's nice when they're there you get a good bit of loot and these bandits like this one some of them didn't move the first time I come here there was like four bandits none of them moved so I could take them out really easy but that might have got patched because they are updating their game quite regularly so there's these barrels in the water and also outside there is lots of other loot so in these stacks over here there's some loot you could possibly miss this a good hundred coins and that pear wine that sells I think that's like a hundred coins in itself there's a quite a lot of like mead and stuff you can sell stuff on the shelves like cups and stuff I might have even missed that first shelf on this playthrough there's these little beer bottles you could possibly miss they sell for a good bit and this sack just these little I love these little items you could possibly miss them too these buckets are good for early game for getting water for your villagers so you don't have to make them very early on you could run up here and there's a money bag just inside that nest that's a possible miss spot and these they're not just decorations these fishing spears can be picked up it says they can sell for like 40 coins each with quite a lot of fishing spears in this little hut so a good bit of coin made and you can run up do this north run pretty early on and get all this loot literally what i searched the whole map and at the end i think we had 12,000 coins when i sold them so this is the next route we're northeast now of the map just look northeast where that red square is on the bottom near the ocean there's like a couple of lootable items but what i'm going to show you next is going to be the iron crossbow location so i'm not going to pick all this up but there is tons of arrows and that's scattered around you just got to look in these sort of tent areas and you can find more loot hidden away firewood down there not going to bother with that iron axe that's a nice find if you want to play multiplayer by the way chat in the discord join my discord the links in the description and I have uh, started one but I might start a new one actually with the, all this loot I found might be interesting to do let's go on top of this cliff now and let's pick up the iron crossbow so these there is NPCs here I didn't even know this but in case you do what I done first off like a numpty I fell down and got stuck if you didn't know there is an unstuck button so randomly you get stuck in this point you can't climb out of it so what you want to do is go down unstuck yourself and you might have to do this twice like I did and then you're out so the bandits here there's a secret bandit wow I don't know why he didn't spawn there I've just noticed but I killed two and then I heard footsteps didn't know what was going on but there's a third bandit and he he didn't have an unstuck button so I'll show you where he is in a second he, it might do the same thing to you this bandit actually had a wooden crossbow which is a good find quite low and this on its durability it's quite damaged but does the job so if there's two of you then one can get the rubbish crossbow and one of you get the good one but you might notice the bandit there behind the door he's stuck so that's another easy kill and a good bit of loot there's also poison arrows scattered around on the door frames and stuff pick them up <laughs> he is stuck right behind here but that's how you get him out don't know how he got there he must have been somewhere else and run and got stuck there but the iron crossbow is on top of this 
So there wasn't much else scattered around it. I had a little look in the cave and whatnot. But how you get this, you climb up around the back and then you crouch down under there. And then once you're inside this, go along the little beams and then you can loot the chest. So that's that. So much loot in this short amount of space. All you got to do is pretty much run north and then go north east and you'll get all this loot early game. So thanks for watching. If this has been helpful for you, drop a like, comment down below. Anything helps this cha small channel grow. Let's try and get the 10k. It'd be good. But thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay entertained and we'll see you all on the next one.